Welcome, fellow explorers, to another captivating journey. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary adventure as we delve into the mysteries of the lost city of Petra. Nestled in the heart of Jordan, situated in the southwestern part of Asia, Jordan is a country rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. Let's dive right in and uncover the secrets of this ancient wonder. As we explore the enigma of Petra, it's essential to understand its climate. Jordan experiences a Mediterranean climate, with hot, dry summers and mild winters. The scorching sun casts a golden hue over the majestic landscapes, making it ideal to visit during the cooler months. Spring and fall offer pleasant temperatures, making exploration more comfortable. The best time to visit Petra is from March to May, and September to November when the weather is mild and comfortable. During these months, you can explore the intricate architecture, reliefs, and carvings without the intense heat of summer. The months of March to May bring the desert to life with vibrant wildflowers, and the fall months offer a stunning contrast as the leaves change color in the surrounding valleys. Petra's geological history is as captivating as its architecture. The city is carved into rose-red cliffs of the southern Jordanian mountains showcasing a unique blend of natural beauty and human craftsmanship. These intricate rock formations were shaped over millennia by wind and water erosion, creating a stunning backdrop for the ancient city. Our journey takes us to the iconic Al-Hazna, or the treasury of the most famous structure within Petra. Carved into the sandstone rock face, this monument served as a tomb for a Nabataean king, its intricate facade resembling a fusion of Hellenistic, Egyptian, and indigenous styles has made it an enduring symbol of Petra's grandeur. The treasury's intricate carvings also depict scenes from Nebatean life, trade, and culture, providing invaluable insights into this ancient civilization. What truly makes Petra special is its seamless integration of natural formations and human architecture. The Seek, a narrow gorge that leads to the treasury, is a prime example. Walking through the towering sandstone cliff creates a sense of awe as if journeying through time itself. The sheer rock walls rise over 80 meters, and as you walk deeper into the Seek, the anticipation of the treasury's reveal grows stronger. The Seek was more than a mere pathway. It was a passage that transported travelers to another world, connecting the mundane with the extraordinary. Beyond the treasury, Petra offers more hidden gems. The ancient amphitheater carved into the rock once resonated with the sounds of performances and gatherings. With seating for up to 8,000 people, this amphitheater served as the center of community and entertainment, showcasing the ingenuity of the Nebatean engineers. It's a testament to how Petra wasn't just a city of stone, it was a living, breathing hub of culture and interaction. Continuing our journey, we arrive at al Dir, also known as the Monastery. This colossal structure, larger than the treasury, stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the Nebataeans. The journey to the monastery includes a steep climb, rewarded by a panoramic view of the surrounding mountains and valleys. As you catch your breath and take in the awe-inspiring vista, it's impossible not to marvel at the determination and craftsmanship that brought this monument to life. Petra's history dates back to around 312 BC, when it was established as the capital of the Nebatean Kingdom. Its strategic location along trade routes brought wealth and cultural exchange, leading to the impressive structures we see today. The city's decline began with the shift of trade routes and earthquakes, eventually leading to its abandonment. However, it wasn't entirely forgotten. Local Bedouin communities continued to inhabit parts of the site, sharing stories that contributed to the preservation of Petra's legacy. Preserving Petra's fragile beauty is of utmost importance. The Jordanian government, along with international organizations, has taken measures to safeguard the site. Visitor quotas, restoration projects, and sustainable tourism practices are in place to ensure that future generations can continue to marvel at Petra's wonders. Collaborative efforts between archaeologists, local communities, and experts have led to ongoing discoveries and a deeper understanding of this ancient city's past. 
As we conclude our exploration of the lost city of Petra, we're reminded of the intricate tapestry that weaves together nature, history, and human ingenuity. This enigmatic site continues to intrigue and inspire, inviting us to uncover the stories hidden within its sandstone walls. From astonishing architectural achievements to the delicate balance between preservation and progress, Petra teaches us the importance of embracing our past while embracing the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep unveiling the enigmas of our world.